Hello, my name is Faisal Vakian. I'm a staff cardiothoracic surgeon at the Department of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic. Today we're going to talk about the results of the regroup trial. It was just presented at the American Heart Association and simultaneously the manuscript was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. This study randomized patients undergoing coronary artery bypass grafting or cabbage into veins harvested either endoscopically, meaning with the help of an endoscope and small keyhole incisions to harvest the veins from the leg, versus the traditional open approach, which typically involves skin incisions separated by bridges and sometimes out of necessity, a long skin um, incision. And the impetus of the study was really the question that was lingering in the cardiovascular community about the safety and efficacy of using less invasive means of taking the vein, which continues to this day to be the most common conduit used to supplement the left internal mammary artery bypass to the left anterior descending artery. And there was a question of whether using a minimally invasive technique with an endoscope would harm the vein and result in uh, bad outcomes. And it really dates back to a study in 2009 published in the New England Journal of Medicine, which was a post hoc analysis of the PREVENT-4 trial that was designed to answer something else. Um, but in, in fact, the post hoc analysis showed uh, worst clinical outcomes in patients receiving endoscopically harvested veins. So this raised alarms in the cardiovascular community about whether we should be using the endoscopic minimal invasive technique or whether we should revert to the open skin incisions. The problem with the open skin incisions is that they're uh, cosmetically less appealing, obviously, because you make big skin incisions, but also there's a higher incidence of uh, wound infections and wound complications related to those bigger incisions. And a compromise was to do smaller skin incisions separated by bridges. So the, the regroup trial is the largest multi-center prospective randomized trial on this subject that we were part of. And in fact, I'm a member of the steering committee. We randomized 1,150 patients to either receive um, an endoscopically harvested vein or a vein harvested through skin incisions. And we tried to minimize those skin incisions, as I said, and separate them with uh, skin bridges. The uh, median follow-up of the patients was under three years. And the primary outcome measure was the major adverse cardiovascular events. Now, the study results were negative, meaning that patients who received veins using the endoscopic technique had similar outcomes to patients who received veins harvested through traditional means. In other words, there's safety um, to the method of using minimally invasive endoscopic harvesting. So that was a big sigh of relief for the cardiovascular community. And, and as expected, actually, there was less incidence of wound complications and leg wound infections in the group of patients that um, received endoscopic harvest. So there was incidence of just over 1% of um, um, leg wound in, in, in complications and infection in patients who underwent endoscopic harvest versus over 3% in patients receiving um, open traditional harvesting technique. Now, one point, actually two points that I want to raise here is first, the study emphasized the importance of the experience of the harvester, meaning that you can't be a novice endoscopic harvester um, to harvest uh, veins for patients enrolled in this study. So you had to be a competent endoscopic harvester and a competent open harvester. So those results are representative of this kind of um, medical team taking care of you, experience uh, medical care team. Another point I want to raise is at the Cleveland Clinic we've always thought that um, using more arterial grafts can be beneficial in select group of patients and we have demonstrated that using bilateral internal thoracic arteries and multiple arterial grafts such as the radial arteries can be of benefit to patients specifically in terms of prolonging patient survival. And the benefit usually kicks in many years after the procedure. So we're not just interested in the immediate outcomes, we're interested in long-term outcomes and for our patients to have a, um, a durable operation with excellent quality of life. So our approach at the clinic is 
to use arterial grafts to supplement the left internal mammary artery to the LAD whenever possible to enhance the longevity of the patients. And in patients who uh, would require saphenous vein supplements, we use minimally invasive techniques such as endoscopic saphenous vein harvest and we have excellent outcomes using that technique. And this study really validated our approach. Thank you for your attention.